Hey everyone, just kind of going through some of the comments from the live stream with Connor on this past Saturday. Just kind of thinking about how wonderful a weekend we just had. I think Connor must be bringing this stuff up from the mountains today because this is the first snowfall that we've had, but pretty heavy stuff, perfect for snowmen. And the kids are all out today kind of playing, so it's kind of fun. Well, that was pretty awesome. I love snow blowing. That old snow blower is a beast. Still cranking after all these years. Also, I just realized that I'm wearing black and blue today, and my wife hates that, so don't tell her. So, when you, how, how much area of your yard were you first real mowing? Like, did you start off with an experiment size? Like, I'm just going to do this little front portion or in true Connor style? No, dude. <laughs> don't do that. Because are going to test this little small spot. You see my That's little ridiculous. You see my little test over there? Yeah. That's why. You're not all in. No, I'm, I'm not. I tried to talk this guy <laughs> into freaking doing all Kentucky blue. He did. And he wouldn't do it. But look over there. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. I mean, it's covered in snow today, but I tried to talk him in. Do, do all Kentucky blue first and be patient with the stuff. And then if you want to sew in some rye later, you can do that. Yeah, you called and me. he didn't listen to me. You called me multiple times and you're like, dude, you better be doing just bluegrass. It's only bluegrass. And I was like, no, I love ryegrass. It's awesome <laughs> stuff, but it's easy to do later. I know, but it's also easy to do right away and have an awesome yard. So I'd love to tell you guys that I recorded a whole bunch of video over the whole weekend, so I have something to show you kind of fun here, but things were moving kind of fast from event, event to event, and so it's also kind of nice just to meet someone every once in a while and not just have the camera in their face all the time. So I kind of uh, went with that for this weekend, and Connor filmed some stuff on Sunday. We walked around my property, went through my shed, and kind of looked at some of the equipment that I use, and... So he should be editing that and we'll have something out for you so I can kind of point you guys to that once he gets that thing edited. So you guys might notice today that I'm not wearing my hat, which I know is a bit strange. And Connor's been giving me a bunch of crap about never showing my hair. So I figured, hey, today we could just do one video where you guys can see this whole thing that's going on up here. It's kind of uh, out of control. It's a big mess of hair. That's what I call it right now. And so that's kind of why I wear my hats most of the time. Much easier to control. And that way it just, it's a little bit better. I like wearing hats too. It's kind of become my thing, I know, but it wasn't necessarily intentional. It just is usually easier to hide all that's going on up here. I have a whole bunch of thank yous from this weekend, of course, to Connor and his wife for coming to Iowa and joining us for the weekend. My wife and I had a great time hosting them here. They were just a lot of fun to hang out with. Very genuine, down to earth, nice people. As I think you can probably tell through the videos with Connor, he's pretty much exactly what you see is what you get. Super nice guy. And we had a great time. Also, I wanted to thank every single one of you that came to our meetup because it was a little bit of a cold, snowy, icy type of night in Iowa, and that's not exactly when most people want to leave their house and go out and hang out with some strangers. So I want to thank every single one of you that did come. I know that for some people that's not a big deal, but for some other people to go and just say, I'm going to go meet 20 strangers and go hang out with some people that I don't know, that can be a little bit difficult. takes a lot of courage, even for me. I'm not really that type of person. Uh, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. So thank you all that came to the meetup. So getting back to the podcast for a second, it's posted in a link below to my site. I have like a little podcast site set up for it through my host. 
that is set up so you can listen and download directly there. Otherwise, it should be on iTunes soon if it's not already when you see this video. It takes a little bit longer to get onto iTunes. I'm not really sure why, but it takes a little bit longer there. It is on Google Play Store. It is on Spotify. It's on a bunch of the podcast places that you want to listen to your podcast. So check it out there. Uh, I wanted to do that because it's just a whole lot easier for you guys who don't get a chance to check out the streams, to check out the podcast, listen in your ears. I like to listen when I'm doing work around the house or when I'm out in the yard during the summertime. I like to listen to a lot of things and get something done at the same time. So that was my whole point with the podcast thing. I understand that many of you don't have an hour to spend watching a YouTube video. So the audio is there for you. It was a really fun show. It seemed like it went well in my opinion, so I hope you'll check it out. So from there, I can announce the next guest. It's going to be Matt Martin, The Grass Factor. If you guys don't know Matt, I'll have a link to his channel down below. He's been doing a live stream show every week now for quite a while where he answers a lot of your questions about lawns. He knows all the technical side of things. Uh, very smart guy, but very, very fun guy as well. So I'm looking forward to a spirited conversation with him. I think it's going to be great. And you guys can check that out on the 23rd of January. We haven't said an exact time when we're going to stream. Uh, I'm still working on that with Matt, but I will announce that soon. And otherwise podcast will come out probably a day or so after that once I get everything edited. So to get back to what we like to do on this channel, which is lawn videos, that stuff is coming back soon, even though it's snowy here, it's cold. I saw our low for this weekend coming up is supposed to be negative eight on Saturday night. So not doing anything outside, obviously, but I have some things that I have planned that I can kind of get back into some lawn videos, start to get things planned a little bit for the season and hopefully create some entertaining content yet while it's still cold outside. I didn't want to get too serious here, but I did want to mention this for a second. The past few years, especially where we're at, where it's so gray and especially during January, February months, it gets to be kind of tough uh, for some people, myself included, where you kind of get those winter blues, seasonal depression, whatever you kind of want to call it. For me, it was normally just a big lack of motivation and I would have a hard time really doing a whole lot during that time frame. But this year, I feel more inspired, more motivated, uh, just more creative in general than I ever have during the wintertime. And I really attribute that to all of the positive things that you guys have been sending my way through these positive comments for the podcast thing that I'm creating. Just positive comments so much in general about that story video that I made not too long ago as well. So truly, I appreciate it. And if any of you guys are kind of feeling that way or struggling through the season, I hope that some content coming out again soon can give you a little bit of a lift there until we get to our spring season. But I wanted to touch on that for a second because I truly, truly want to thank you for helping me to get through these kind of tougher months for me. And I know some of you are probably feeling the same. Last thing that I want to mention too is that I really want to make sure I'm giving you the content this year that you want to see, the things you want to learn about. So write me a comment down below in the comment section about some video topics, things that you want to learn. So hopefully then I can get to whatever you guys want to see for content this year. I'll do my best to get to as much of it as I can. But if you'd write me a comment, let me know what you want to learn. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm giving you guys exactly what you need to learn to have a better yard. So let me know. So again, January 23rd, Matt Martin will be here for the podcast. Connor's podcast, if you've not checked it out or if you've not checked out the live stream, please do so. We had a lot of fun. Thank you guys all for sitting here for a few minutes and kind of uh, getting these things off my mind so that I can let you guys know about what's going on. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.